Jim was a runner. He had run in several races, and he really enjoyed running. And they had told him about a marathon that was going to be taking place, and so he decided that he was going to really train for this marathon, and he was going to win this marathon. And he went out every morning running, and he would run for an hour. And each week his time would get a little bit better. And he became overconfident. He thought, I have no problems. My time is really great when I'm doing my running in the mornings, and, and I'm not going to have any problems with this marathon. And so he, he would train, but he didn't train every day of the week. He would maybe go two times or three times a week and, and run in the mornings. And he also began to eat a lot of snacks in the evening, and he was putting on a few extra pounds. So a week before the marathon, he thought, oh my, I haven't been training like I should, and I've been eating some of the wrong foods. And so he began very faithfully to train again each morning that week before the marathon. But you know, his lifestyle earlier and the fact that he wasn't training caused him to lose the race. And that was a high price to pay. Well, I want to talk to you about sin. Sin also has a high price to pay. At first, sin seems harmless. And before we know it, it grabs us, and it really has a hold on us, and we go deeper, deeper into sin, causing us maybe to lose relationships with family and friends and uh, causing us a lot of heartache and possibly even being in prison because of things that we have done. But I want to tell you that if you read the Bible and you read in Romans chapter 10 and verse 13, we read these words, If we will call upon the name of the Lord, He will save us. If we will just call on His name and ask for forgiveness, He will save us. I want you to remember this. Sin adds to our troubles. It subtracts from our energy. And it multiplies our difficulties. So I would ask you to call on the Lord. And John, 1 John 1, 9 says, If we will confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Just call on the Lord. Don't let sin have a hold of your life. Thank you.